Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Build series in Minecraft. Now today I want to show you a simple villager farm, village breeder I should say, that you can build in your survival world as well. Now how this is going to work is we got a composter in here so we got one working villager and he will constantly drop carrots to that villager and they will breed. Now what we did was we made a let me go in here very quickly we made a small room in here as you can see with three beds and what will happen is the baby villagers will see the bed and they will try to jump on it they will fall in here and get collected there actually now this is keeping the villagers from getting in here so that's fine as well and again uh, this will continue to work unless you pull this lever on this side. Now what that will do is that will make sure that the villagers can't see the bats anymore so they will stop breeding. Okay, that's actually it for the explanation. Uh, it's quite simple and straightforward. The only thing you want to do is find the right spot to build this and of course you do not want to make this uh, near a village. The requirements for the uh, for this farm will be at your screen right now. Let's get started shall we? So I see you in a second. The first thing you want to do is find a nice spot to build this. Now I will build it just uh, around here somewhere. So what you want to do is create something looking like that. Get your water bucket in and go out four blocks in total. So one, two, three, four. Do the same for all the sides. Okay, and fill it all in. Once you got this shape, uh, what you want to do is go on the sides right here and then add a row of blocks like that. Okay. And what you want to do next after you've got this all in is actually quite simple. You want to leave out one side and what you want to do is build up too high. And you want to do this for each corner first. I want my villagers to go that way. So this side is going to be left empty. And what you want to do is get one block. One more block up. And go all the way around. And as I said, lift this side out for now. Okay, now the next step is to close this until you get t in total three blocks of space in here like that and what you want to do is add some trapdoors on this side so the next step is to add the place where the villagers are going to stay now to do that we need a bed first and let me get the deep sleigh as well and what you want to do with the glowstone is actually once you've got the composter in place, let's get that first. Uh, what you want to do is add a composter in here, add a glowstone and go up two blocks for now. Okay. Then next what you want to do is go on this side, go out two blocks. Okay. And then place your bed. Right like that. And then you want to get rid of these blocks as well. And then you want to add one more row of blocks. Okay. So what you want to do next for the sides actually is go up. And uh, leave the corners out for now. Because this is going to be a bit higher than that side. So... You want to go one more block higher for this one, okay, like that, and you can connect this as well. Okay, now the next step is to make sure that the villagers can 
go through this okay so they won't be able to go through that and you want to add some trapdoors on top just for aesthetic looks okay go on this side and then get rid of these blocks uh, actually I made a small mistake uh, you want to go out one more block okay excuse me for that otherwise your villagers won't have enough space to breed okay like that simple as that and now what you want to do is get in here get some uh, trapdoors you can maybe do it from this side it's easier get some trapdoors in here and create yourself a small area three blocks down that way you won't get the surface okay, like that and here is going to be the entrance now you want to add a water source in here and it will go eight blocks wide let's do that and add a gate in front of that so and of course we will light that up soon but let's get the farm in place first now what will happen is the small villagers so the baby villagers will try to get and jump on this bed and they will think that they, uh, they can pass through because they don't know the difference between a open gate and a closed gate wait but it works now i will get these sides done as well now what you want to do is get this room ready and now we want to add some redstone um, again i'm not great as this so there's probably a way smarter way of doing this which i don't know um, but please let me know if you know a better way of doing this but what i will do is because of this uh, breeder will work the whole day it's gonna lag at some point so i will do is add some sticky pistons that will push a block when i um, and you want to come out one more place it like there and then you want to get your oops let's get up here and then you want to get rid of these blocks and now we can determine where the lever is going to be i will place that for now on here when you do it this way uh, the villagers won't be able to see the bats anymore so they will they will stop breeding now to fully test this out what i will do is i will fill in the sides very quickly and then we are gonna test this out but obviously what you want to do first is get your hoe and some carrots doesn't matter actually and then get your farm done as well there are many ways of getting a villager in uh, what i find the easiest way is with a boat and what you want to do is once you really farm you want to get out and let this guy free here he will just walk into there and start doing his job but obviously he has nothing to work with and of course you want to uh, get one more villager in here as well so let's place these very quickly and i will get another one now um the next thing what i will do is we are gonna try this farm out okay let me get another villager and make sure that you fill their inventory <coughs> and make sure that you fill their inventory as well uh oops uh wait villagers look i will give them a lot of carrots and it will speed up the process a little bit now while that's doing its thing let's start decorating this so what you want to do is uh, get some deep slay uh, i will use the normal deep slay by the way the d deep slay tiles okay and you want to go all the way around uh, there okay and let's get this in actually and you want to do that for all the sites uh, they are not breathing yet but they will 
so while we are working on the sides it will do its thing okay now let's connect that and this one will be one higher as the other one actually two blocks higher because we have redstone here so once you are at this point what you want to do is go around like that and then on top you can add some slabs I will use the quartz slabs doesn't matter actually look at that it worked now <laughs> unfortunately I was just late with recording but here you go now what will happen is the baby villager will try to jump onto the bed and he will fall down in here and he will just end up here so what you want to do is add some trap doors just so nothing can go in beside, uh, except you and on the top floor what you want to do is get your stairs uh, actually we're going to do that for all the sides so what you want to do is uh, get your stairs get rid of this and then you want to go all the way around like that go in the corners get your iron bars in place and next to that you want to add some lantern now on the top on top what you want to do is go out one block and go all the way around as simple as that so I will finish that up and I will show you how it looks and it will be much easier uh, to follow once it's done so I see you in a minute once you got all the sides in uh, it's going to look something like this and <laughs> what I did was I did some decoration for this side as well and uh, I got a little accident as you can see uh, he went out uh, I just replaced these blocks as you can see um, now what you want to do uh, why can't I get out come on okay let's get out from here now what you want to do for the roof is actually quite simple uh, you want to have glass on top Okay, all the way around just stained glass and then whenever you want to turn off this farm you can just hit this one easy as that as you can see this farm is basically done um, now I just decorated the sides a little bit and what I did for this side is actually I connected this so, and this will change for your uh, location of course I'm working at a hill so that's why we got those awkward <laughs> corners but that's not the point uh, this farm works actually very good and don't worry about this one um, he just went out because I accidentally opened the gate so it's not uh, that he escaped from the farm now again um, if you have any building suggestions or ideas uh, please let me know but I hope that uh, this tutorial was helpful and it worked for you and again if you want to stop your villagers from breeding what you can do is just pull this lever and your villagers won't be able to see the bats anymore so they won't breed but anyway, uh, I hope you guys liked this one. Uh, if you did, please let me know. Uh, have a nice day. And I see you the next time.